Can earthquakes be predicted? A global, global company says yes. Terra Seismic says it collects data from satellite to predict major earthquakes a few months before they strike. How can a quake-prone country like the Philippines benefit from it? To share some of its insights, we have with us today Oleg Elshin. He is a Nobel Prize nominee and the president and CEO of Terra Seismic. Good morning and welcome to New Day. Nice to meet you. Okay, for many, many years, people have said you just cannot predict earthquakes, okay. but you say something else. Absolutely. Uh, quakes are not sudden events. Uh, we use satellite big data and can predict most major quakes globally at least two to five months before they will strike. Now, you've been studying this science of predicting earthquakes. How old is this method of study, this particular science? Well, actually, uh, quake forecasting is uh, one of the most ancient skills known to mankind. The first known forecast was made by Ferisides of Syros about 2,500 years ago. Uh, he was collecting water from well, and he noticed that uh, the usually very clean water suddenly became dirty and undrinkable. He predicted quake, and quake indeed hit a few days later. He became very famous. Uh, a lot of records show that uh, quake forecasting was a recognized science in ancient Greece. Okay, so now we're taking it to the 21st century. How does your company, Terra Seismic, do your forecast? I know it's a very complicated process and you take in many different factors and study many different aspects of the Earth. Tell us more about it. Well, uh, we collect data from satellites. Uh, we know what is happening today in all seismic prone countries, Japan, Chile, Philippines, and so on. Uh, we process terabytes of information every day and based on huge amount of data, we produce short, mid, and long-term global quake prediction. Okay. Um, and once you have all of this data, let's say you are able to predict an earthquake will happen somewhere, what do you do with this data? Or do you approach the governments, those cities? What, what do you do with the information? Well, uh, of course, uh, we are uh, in contact with some governments. For example, we gave a presentation to San Marino government and agreed upon cooperation. Uh, we also provide uh, uh, our predictions to other governments and we actually call for cooperation with all governments and agencies who are responsible uh, for dealing with natural disaster. Uh, our paramount priority is to help governments to save human lives. Okay, now in layman's terms, are you able to tell us a little bit about the signs that tell you an earthquake is going to happen? Uh, well, well, again, uh, we, we are talking about that um, quakes are not sudden events. Uh, an area that will experience a future major quake will be stressed and behave abnormally. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example from medicine. Uh, you know, uh, normal body temperature is 36.6 uh, degrees Celsius. Yes. If, say, you have a temperature of 37, uh, your body lets you know that, that you, you have a problem yes. and you need to visit a doctor. Okay? Uh, the same is true for quake prediction. Uh, before major quake will hit, uh, we can detect anomalies in the data we collect. Anomalies tell us that quake is coming. This is why major quakes can be predicted. I see. Um, now, you have been nominated for a Nobel Prize. What does that mean to you, and how important is it in your course of study and what you're advocating? Uh, yes, you are right. Uh, in 2017 and 20. Uh, 18, we gave a presentation on Terra Seismic uh, to over 150 university professors. Uh, after this presentation, 150 professors and politicians from 60 countries uh, nominated us for 2017, 2018, and 2019 Peace Nobel Prize. Uh, Nobel Prize is really important. Uh, we are a small company. And uh, after we get Nobel Prize, if we get Nobel Prize, we'll have much more capacity uh, to, to protect humanity from earthquakes. All right, and here in the Philippines, um, how have your studies been received? I know you've spoken to some people um, here in our country. How have they received what you have said and what you've shared? Well, we already uh, um, arranged some meetings, and we will be happy to meet and uh, cooperate with Philippines government. And we can do whatever we can to protect Philippines uh, from future quakes and tsunamis. This is our job, this is our mission, and we will do whatever we can. Okay, and lastly, uh, Oleg, maybe you have a message for Filipino people. You know, we, we often think about a big earthquake happening here again. What is the best way we can prepare for something like that? 
Well, well again, we are talking that um, uh, we develop an action plan uh, that should be implemented before major quakes. According to this plan, uh, government needs to examine and reinforce uh, some critical and important infrastructure in area of future quakes. Uh, hospitals, schools, cultural heritage buildings, etc. It's estimated that uh, millions of effective investments in loss mitigation measures before major quakes will save untold lives and billions that usually uh, spent for recovery after events. So we need to make preparation. We need to make preparation for future events. And uh, again, we call for cooperation. And we are happy to cooperate uh, with Philippines governments to protect your uh, amazing country from future events. All right. Thank you so much. Really interesting stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Oleg Elshin, Nobel Prize nominee, the president and CEO of Terra Seismic.